Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the top 5 UFC cards so far in 2024. Now, these are some interesting ones because there hasn't been a whole lot. There's only been 7. Uh, the next 5 will come after the next 3. So, you know... Right now we have the uh, Inkalive, Walker, Strickland, Duplessis, Delize, Imovov, Hermanson, Pfeiffer, and Volkanovsky, Toporia. And then we'll have the five after that. So, starting off first with, uh, I believe, yeah, Inkalayev, Johnny Walker. Now, this card wasn't terrible. Quite a bit of finishes. There's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six seven finishes out of 11 fights not a bad card the main card itself was pretty damn good three finishes out of five fights on that main card you know you have some veterans on there uh phil Hawes is on there you know not a terrible card for sure so um uh, johnny walker and Kaliev two i think is a tier next on next on the card we have uh, right after that one was Strickland versus Duplessis, UFC 297, 12 fights. Now, big fight here. They got into a brawl before uh, this fight in the crowd. I think the paper, the uh, fight night after, uh, before this, Jesus, um, split decision, pretty controversial. Two title fights on this card. We'll cut Rocky Pennington, Myra Bruna Silva. That fight was absolutely terrible. Bad, bad, bad fight. Now, it's it's the main card wasn't great for this. You have Mavzar Ivalov versus Arnold Allen. Not a great fight. Fight Ivalov wins this one. Chris Curtis, Mark Andre Barriut. Barriut decided not to fight in this one. Should have been a good fight. Turned out not to be. Again, Neil Magny coming back and beating Mike Malat in the third round, which with what 15 seconds left, damn near nothing. Brett Katona gets robbed. Uh, Charles Jourdain doesn't fight very well. Sean Woodson wins pretty decisively, honestly. Very, very good prelim fight in Ray, uh, Ramen, uh, Raymond Tavares versus Serhi City. And then Jillian Robertson gets a finish against a girl that was just retired before this fight. So, okay. Sam Patterson defeats Yo Johan Lenassi, which called that one. Didn't Johan Lenassi is not very good at all. And then Jasmine Jasivacious submits Priscilla Coteria. And then Jimmy Flick retires Malcolm Gordon. This fight card overall is decent not a bad one not a great one this card goes to b tier next we have delice versus i'm evolved now this is another one where i think is decent 13 fights you know the main card itself was a no contest for uh, muradov kurizov who doesn't fight often uh, three decisions no contest a finish by randy brown now you go to the prelims, again not great. There was only one, two, three, four, five finishes out of thirteen fights. This card was not great. Uh, now Radke looked very good, but did fight Gilbert Urbina. Charles Don Johnson got a, a decision win, which he really needed. And Themba destroyed Pete Rodriguez. Somebody told me Rodriguez is going to win that. That's wild. Um, you seen a good prospect in, in G Young Lee. Very cool. Um, yeah, I mean, not a great card. This is the first card that's just not great. This is C tier. Next, we have Hermanson versus uh, Joe Pfeiffer. Another card that had 14 fights on it. Wild. Um, th this, this one's okay. This one's okay. A lot of decisions on paper. You would think there'd be more finishes. Not a lot of finishes. Carlos Paredes with a big finish over Trevin Giles, which he was losing that fight. Rodolfo Vieira looked incredible against Armin Petrosian. I knew he was going to win that one. Michael Johnson got a decision. You're always, always happy, happy when the menace wins a, wins a fight. And then Gregory Rodriguez destroys Brad Tavares in the second or third round, I mean. And that power is just unbelievable. Eor Pateria looked okay, looked pretty good actually. Danny Gay flatlines Andre Feely and Jack Manson. Technically dominates Joe Pfeiffer as the fight goes on. So this card is decent. A little bit of good moments in this one. I think this one is easily B tier. It's a decent card. Nothing special. Nothing crazy. 
but overall a pretty good card. And then next we had the last one, which we had just seen not two days ago, but uh, February 17th, Volkanovski Taporia. Uh, the prelims were awesome for this one. Prelims were awesome. The main cards where it got a little bit of, got a little weird. You know, you have Hernandez, Simitin, Kapilov. Kapilov defended, I think, eight takedowns and then got taken down and kind of went downhill from there. And then three straight decisions and then the uh, finish with Taporia knocking out Volkanovski, which, shocker, told you guys there. Um, this card's not great. This card's not great. On paper, so much better, just like the, the Lidze card. And kind of, yeah, just like the Lidze card and I'm involved. Volkanovski, 298 is C tier to me. Card didn't really deliver, but it wasn't terrible. Is what it is. Okay, well, we'll figure that out later. But anyways, as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are, what you guys think about this. Which car fight card was the best for you personally? Just these five. Let's wait to talk about the other five, the other three that we have, or two that we have had. And then once the three more come, we'll do those five too. But let me know which one out of these five are your favorites. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.